Hello guys, welcome back to our video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how we're going to send the audio from the Midas M32 or the Behringer X32 to the PC for live streaming purpose. Okay, before that, uh, I will urge all of you, our friends, to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for that. Okay, back to the topic. So we are going to send the mix uh, audio signal from the 32 input to the PC for live streaming. So what is important now is the master left and right, which actually combination of the mix signal from the 32 input to the PC with the cut installed at the back uh, with the USB cable uh, when the audio signal is in the PC we can send the signal to the live streaming service uh, such as Facebook Live, YouTube Live and other platform whichever you think is the best okay this is our topic today so first before we do anything, first to ensure that you have the correct driver, please go to the Midas website or the Behringer website to download the correct uh, audio driver and install to your PC. To check correct cut which is installed in the console, we can go to setup. Then at the final tab, you can see there's one cut here. And the model is written here, DN32 USB. So this is the audio interface cut installed at the back of the M32. Okay, and most importantly, we need to set this to two in and two out. Because for live broadcasting, we just need two only, left and right. So for more than that, it's more professional usage, uh, like uh, multi-track recording. So this is very important step because uh, the PC, the Windows or the Facebook Live, YouTube Live, they cannot see 32 channel multi-track even though they cannot see the 8 in and 8 out. So this is very important to make sure the live streaming software able to see you. Okay, this is our first step. And Let's go to the PC to verify once we connected the USB, we downloaded the, uh, the correct driver and we configure everything correctly. Okay, we go to the setting under system. There's a sound. And from the input side, you can see the clock technique DN32 USB is here. Okay, from other options we have. Okay, and here we can see the audio signal is coming in. So to, just to confirm that it's working. And just to uh, highlight to you, you need to take note input one and two. Okay, this is what the PC can see. They can see the one and two only. So for the three four five six it cannot see so this is very important for our next step which when we do the uh, routing and setup in the console we need to assign the master left and right correctly to the uh, one and two of the interface card okay we will go back to the cameras so just now i mentioned we need to make sure one and two is assigned to the main left and right. How we are going to do that? Press this routing. Then under the cut, because this is the cut, what I'm going to send to the cut or receive some from the cut. But currently, I'm more interested to the sending out. Okay, how we doing do that? We select the user out one to eight. Press this. Then you come to this one to eight. It will show you what is assigned to one to eight. And you can see that number three to eight is empty. I have no setting at all. 
But for number one, I have set to main left. And two is main right. So the main left and right is this master, left and right. How are we going to set this master, I mean, main left and main right to here? So it's very simple. You just press this button to move the tab to the user. So just now we have set user output. I need to press this knob to ensure I can toggle between the input and output. So output is what I want because I want to out the signal from the console to the PC. So we need the out. And our interested destination is 1 and 2 because the PC only can see 1 and 2. That's why I'm choosing 1 to 8 column. I mean this, this box. So I can... Uh, assign the output 1 and 2. So uh, by default, every M32 or X32, 15 and 16 is the left and right of the main output. So I'm going to set output 1 as output 15, which is, is the left, and output 2 is output 16, which is the right. And you can notice other thing, I just leave it blank because I doesn't need it. So this is how I set the main left and right to the user 1 and 2, okay, which I send you this to the cut and the PC receive the 1 and 2 from the cut, which is from my main. Okay, understand? So this is for firmware version 4 because this user features, the user features, is only available in firmware version 4. For older version, can we do it? Yes, we can do it. How we do it? Let me show you. We can use the output 1 to 8 here. Press it. Out 1 to 8. By default, everything is set. Mix plus 1, mix plus 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But you can notice that 1 and 2, I have changed to main, left, and right. So I'm how I'm going to do that? So just press this to find the out. Okay. And I'm going to select the out 1 to choose as main left. And the out 2 as main right. So this is how I'm going to set the out 1 and out 2 as my main left and right. So when we go back to the cut, you can see I'm assigned to main left and right to my 1 and 2 output which I send to cut, add cut to the PC. So this is how we send the master left and right audio from the console to the PC. So it's that easy. Okay, let's move to the uh, Facebook Live or YouTube Live. For those who haven't liked our page, you can like our page here or you can go to our YouTube channel to subscribe our channel. So we promise that we will post more uh, tips, knowledge on a pro audio system. You won't miss it. You won't regret. Then we need to select the live here. And you bring us to the live page. We select the use camera. And from here, we can select the camera in webcam or other things. Or I can set my audio clock technique 1 and 2. So, and here I have uh, some indication to show that my audio is properly sent to this uh, live, Facebook Live. So once everything is done, you just press this go live. So, tada, settle. So how about YouTube? Once we are in YouTube, we can go here and press this go live. And it will bring us to the uh, interface of the YouTube Live. And here, you just press the More Options. You can choose our setting, what cameras, what 
webcam we also can choose our sound card in here we can see clock technique dn32 sb but here we don't have any indicator of the audio here but just now we have confirmed that uh, in facebook live and in our windows uh, windows setting there the sound is indeed going to the pc So there you have it, the step-by-step -step how we're going to send the audio to the live streaming in PC uh, for the Midas M32 and Behringer X32. Hope this helps you all. That's all, folks. See you next time in next tutorial. Thank you very much. Sayonara.